My selection today is about a new technology that's being used more and more among the world's top golfers. Imagine being able to simplify the way you adjust your swing, to have a more efficient practice and to better understand your game. Well, this technology promises all of that and more. I spoke to the Vice President of Trackman, Matt Freelich, as well as some players and coaches to find out what they think about this technology. In a nutshell, Trackman is becoming a must-have piece of equipment in every elite player's armoury, with widespread use by top golfers rapidly transforming the game just as Trackman's inventors had hoped. So Matt, thanks very much for joining us. You're VP of Trackman. Um, can you tell us how it was originally created and what it was originally created for? Sure, well, uh, Trackman was originally created by some Danish golfers. They were accomplished players and kind of felt that the driving range experience was getting a little bit boring. And they felt golf, a sport that had been the same for many years could use some technology. So they thought that the driving range experience would be a lot better if they added some technology that told us exactly where a golf ball went. And now they could start calibrating, competing against one another. So it was the Danish golfers who really brought TrackMan to, uh, to the industry. Dr. Klaus Eldrup Jorgensen played on the Danish national team and built a career in the medical device world, focusing on research. Along with brother Morten Eldrup Jorgensen joined leading radar engineer Frederick Tuxen, a designer of missile tracking applications. Okay. And how does it help the players and the coaches as well? What's the main thing that it helps them with? Yeah, so when we got our start, we only sold to equipment manufacturers. So in the beginning, it was measuring exactly where a ball went, getting the full 3D, 3D trajectory of every shot. So we could find out that a ball is landing flatter or steeper, so steeper to hold a green, flatter to get more bounce and roll with the driver. Then we added spin rate. So now we could find out that, hey, we could change the driver's characteristics, and now all of a sudden, I'm optimizing my shots. So that's how it began, players using it with the equipment manufacturers. Eventually we learned how to measure the club's angles. So we measure the 3D trajectory or the club's arc and now we start telling them about club path and face angle and that's how the coaches had started using it as well. So the Eldrup Jorgensen brothers and Frederick Tuxen formed Trackman as a trio in May 2003. It's not cheap $25,000 a pop. Um, but how does worth it help it you? What, to what the are the top main players. points there for you? Well, it helps in a, a, a different, uh, few different ways. One, you can obviously track, you know, just simple numbers. You can see how far you're hitting your shots and kind of so, uh, zone into, you know, um, your exact numbers for each club. Two, it really, the, the, a lot of the data can show you how you're swinging and if you're swinging incorrectly. Um, and it can be a, a teaching tool. And, um, you know, other than that, uh, it, it's a great, uh, great um, you know, piece of equipment when you're trying new equipment too. You know, if you if you want to try a new driver and you want to see the numbers, uh, you can see if they're in the in the kind of the right zones. Well, a poster child for Trackman confirmation may be Jordan Spieth and his fundamentally unsound-looking swing that serves up beautiful Trackman numbers. Yeah, I use numbers. it. Um, I use it at home with my instructor Cameron and. Uh, um, we don't, we don't, I don't u overuse it. We don't use it a ton, but we do use it to kind of get numbers and also to see, you know, the spin rates and where the balls, uh, where the, the club path and see if we can work every shot off of it. I think it's extremely useful. Although Trackman wasn't the first launch monitor, it was the device that made them fashionable. We use it at Callaway quite a bit, and a lot of guys have it at their house or have it at their own practice facility. I don't. I, I do have a launch monitor. I do, um, have a, a practice facility and, and so forth, but I really don't uh, use TrackMan on every shot, but I do uh, use specific yardage, yardage distances and try to fly the ball a certain yardage where that's, uh, and TrackMan's very effective for that. Known as a ball flight analyzer for revolutionizing club fitting, TrackMan has become a vital tool in the teaching arsenal of a growing number of instructors. Scott Hamilton is the coach of Chris Kirk, Boo Weekly, Russell Henley, and others. He sings the technology's praises. I wanted to ask you how you think it helps you in your coaching. Uh, well, the biggest thing for an instructor is it tells you what club paths do doing. The thing that instructors didn't know before with video only, video's two-dimensional, TrackMan's 3D, it tells you what the horizontal movement of the sweet spot's doing, which is kind of a new thing. It's not that new now, but it's the new thing that TrackMan teaches you. 
there's two things that send the ball where where it goes, and that's the, the horizontal movement of the sweet spot, and then the club face relationship to that. On TrackMan, they call that club path as a sweet spot movement, and then face angles a face relation. So just by telling us that, you can look like a lot of times I'm just running it when guys are hitting just to see the pattern they're delivering the club because each one of my guys uh, swing a little bit different. But yeah, just a I always call it like an impact perfector. Sean Foley has been promoted as the most famous coach in the world when he started to collaborate with Tiger Woods two years ago. Even if they parted ways last year, Sean is still coaching top players like Rose, Hunter Mayhat, even Matt. What Everett. your thoughts were on it, and whether you use it with any of your players? Sure. Yeah, I started. I started using TrackMan five years ago, um, and I've used it extensively. I think that 2015. Um, you know, there's there's a bit of like you know almost a, a disagreement on using it because golf is all feel and what have you. But people making that comment don't use it. So for me, it, why would I one why would I ever guess what I can measure? Yeah. And two, what it does is because there's numbers, it doesn't mean that it makes you numeric or mechanical. But what happens is that say if a player is five down. Okay, so their attack angle is five down on the ball, and I want them at zero or level. We can work with different feels to change the number. So it's not like the player is ever thinking about the number itself. So what it does is I think most human learning is done mainly through trial and error. And inconsistency is the key to becoming consistent because the brain needs to know the difference. So that's what it really does is it the feedback, biologically the feedback is massive because of that. So a player can do something that feels quite extreme, but that's just to change like four degrees. So they, they know they're on the right track with that. Justin Rose recently won the Zurich Classic of New Orleans and will try to add another major to his silverware cabinet in the US Open in less than a month. And um, would you say there's anyone that has used TrackMan with you and that it hasn't actually helped or it's made them overthink something? In a case with, with, with Justin, he's highly used. He can use it all the time and he won't get bound by it. But he's still his feels are still what matters, more so than what the numbers say. So if he can hit a ball and like the way it feels or not, and then like the flight or not, he's going to go more off of that than what it's saying. Um, but then in the case, Hunter's right in the middle, um, Tiger was in the middle, um, and Matt Every, uh, if I put him on it, I don't show him anything. So a lot of the times when it's on, I'm not showing them. It's just so I know if I have to make uh, an experiential opinion that I have, I'm not doubting. Woods is a convert after purchasing his own TrackMan, but... There's still work to do.